Fantastic, so this is the final video about solving quadratic equations using the ABC formula. I've written down two questions for you, correct two decimal places and show all your workings, okay? So perhaps you want to pause the video, try it yourself, be wrong, make mistakes, fantastic. That's what it's all about because that's how you learn, okay? Uh, so pause it now and then look at my workings, yeah? All right, there we go. Uh, the first one, 2x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Yeah? It's already in the correct order. I always check that. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So what is a, what is b and what is c? Well, a is 2, b is 1, and c is minus 6. Fantastic. Okay, let me put, I always like to do this, I don't know why. Yeah, that's the creative part in me. All right, there we go, A, B, and C. Gotta show all my workings, yeah? I've shown you my previous video, how to do in your calculator all at once, yeah? So you can always check your answers. So make sure you've seen my previous video. But where's the fun, yeah? We have to show our workings, that's the fun. Minus B, plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, and all of that divided by 2a. You know it by now, you know it by now. It doesn't scare you anymore. Now I'm gonna substitute those values into my formula. Minus b plus or minus b squared minus four times a times c. Now usually, or most of the times I have to say, a is one, it just says x squared, yeah? But don't rely on that too much. Don't rely on that kind of experience too much. In this case, A is two, yeah? So also at the bottom, where usually you just have, at the bottom I should say, denominator of course, where usually you have two times one, but now it's two times two, okay? I hope you understand that. Okay, minus one, plus or minus. Now you can, of course, work this out on your calculator, but I don't think you have to. What is one squared, one times one? That is one, let me write that down there. Minus four times two is minus eight, times minus six, that is minus 48, so plus 48. And one plus 48, that is 49. Hang on a minute, that is a square number, isn't it? Okay, now use your calculator. What is x1 and what is x2? Minus one plus seven, square root of 49, that is six, divided by four, it's gonna give you one and a half, 1.5, yeah? Minus one, minus seven, minus eight, divided by four, so it's gonna be minus two. So actually quite an unusual answer for this type of question, where you get nice rounded uh, yeah, uh, answers for x, one and a half minus two, but everything is good, and you can check that even if you would factorize, because this one you are actually able to factorize, you're gonna get those answers, anyway. Quickly to the next question, x squared plus seven equals seven x. Yeah, don't get confused now, eh? because I started the first video, eh? even before factoring, I said yes, but quadratic equations, your approach, your strategy is always that you have to equal it to zero and make sure it's in the correct order, yeah? Because otherwise, what are your a's, what are your b's, what are your c's? Your a's are or is the coefficient of your x squared term, uh, your b is the coefficient of your x term, and your c is your constant, your number, yeah? So make sure you order it, a, uh, b, and c. So a uh, one, minus seven, careful, seven, yeah? Why careful when the b is negative? Well, because if I use the formula, and I'm going to do that relatively quick now, um, x, equals a minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So when I use the formula minus b, so that becomes then minus minus seven. That's why I always tell myself, oh careful, but b is negative. Okay, gotta, gotta, gotta take some extra care there. Plus or minus, and again here, b squared, Make sure you do the brackets around it in your calculator. I've showed you before why that is important. I'm gonna tell you again. Minus four times A times C, and all of that divided by two times A. All right, seven, and eh? minus minus seven, plus or minus, let's work that out. 49, has eh? seven squared, 
uh, minus 28, uh, so that's going to be 201 over 2. All right, now I need my calculator. You see, I didn't use my calculator up till now. Yeah, you don't need your calculator, uh, but now I do. X, X, I'm going to get two answers. Uh, get my calculator, and I'm very relaxed with my calculator. It's nothing to be scared of, and I don't need it. Seven eh, up till this po uh, point, plus the square root of 21. I always do plus first. Equals, eh, say equals. Don't do divide by two straight away. Now I do divide by two. So that entire answer, the entire numerator, divided by two equals SD. And I set two decimal places. So five. 0.79. You see, I put my calculator down, I write down my answer, beautiful. I get my calculator again, I say zero, now I do seven, a minus the square root of 21 equals, and that answer divided by two equals SD, I put it down again, and I grab my pen, and I say to two decimal places, that's gonna be 1.21, fantastic, that's it. I hope you have the same answers. I hope that was useful, otherwise let me know. Eh? Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have, a, I have a website, I have a forum, you can ask me questions. I'm here to help you. Okay, have a good day, I'll see you later.